my pronouns are important um, because they reflect my lived experience and they reflect how I see myself. I honestly love it when people ask me, like, what pronouns do I go by? I feel comfortable. I feel like I'm in a space where, yes, people that look female might not always be female. Yeah, it makes my heart rise, I guess. I feel um, very, very validated. I feel very myself. I was assigned the incorrect pronouns, I guess you would say, um, basically at birth, and uh, those pronouns never really fit. Um, I remember um, kind of coming out to this this group of students that I had for one term, and uh, and then I walked into the classroom the next term in January, and um, and said, you know, you know, this is me, um, this is how I'm presenting. Um, and uh, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. And and one of the students sitting in the front of the class said, "Well, what are your preferred pronouns?" And um, and so I'm really thankful for that student, wherever they are now, um, for asking me that. I identify as gender fluid, I suppose. So she, her, they, them. They tend to change depending on the time, the day. I don't know, just on my mood. <laughs> Well, I actually thought I was like a cis woman for quite a bit of time, up until I was like about 18, I suppose. I actually went to Unistoten camp and I met a lot of queer folks that identified as different genders than what they were assigned at birth. From there on, I started to realize like, okay, maybe I am not a cisgendered woman, but maybe I have some gender that is a different description. For me, gender is who I am in my mind, soul, body. <laughs> it is a mystery as to the logic behind it, I suppose, but it's it feels so strong within me that I know it exists. Having the pronouns like change into he and him, it did take a while for everyone around me to kind of get used to it because they're so used to calling me she or her and by my old name, so it took a lot of it took some time for everyone to kind of like have that registered in their mind and I had to be patient too. Um, I'd say one thing that was really hard was um, my mom misgendering me and like calling me by my old name. It took her the longest time to start referring to me as Romeo and in the beginning it would it would make me cringe anytime she'd see my say my old birth name but eventually I kind of had more em empathy empathy towards her because I was her daughter and like she's so used to me by my birth name and it's hard for her to like I guess call me by my new name so uh, but she would she would like make sure that um she would call me like Uncle Romeo in front of my like niece and nephew so at least there was that effort. I've definitely gotten a lot of response of well, you don't look non-binary, which uh, feels really bad because how is non-binary supposed to look? Um, it's as if sort of some people have this idea in their head that if you use they, them pronouns, you have to be incredibly androgynous. I find that misgendering happens a lot in the um, cis white gay male community where they um, seem to, uh, there's a lot of transphobia uh, and uh, that feeds into sort of their sort of um, putting masculinity or maleness sort of on a pedestal. I'm an Anglican priest. I serve a parish in the north of Vancouver Island. Nobody who looks at me or interacts with me is really gonna be in much doubt about my pronouns, but putting them on the on the tag and then the email signature is a way of signaling to the wider community that I know some stuff about this and that I'm willing to engage with you about it. Or when I stand up on Sunday morning and say, uh, you know, sisters and brothers, greetings, uh, that I can't do that anymore. I can only say uh, friends, uh, children of God, family, um, that those kinds of words that are more inclusive. The best way for someone to ask for my pronoun is to simply just ask me. Just say like, oh, what pronouns do you go by? 
Um, if they, I hear your name is Statsini. Um, what pronouns do you go by? <laughs> Just simple as that. If I'm not sure if somebody says um, their name uh, and it, it's not evident to me whether, you know, what their gender might be, I, I just say, what pronouns do you prefer? And they tell me and we go on from there. I don't necessarily think you have to do that right away, but it is very considerate when people do. I guess my preferred way of doing it is, is really just to introduce myself you know, say my name is is uh, A.M. Um, or or Alice, and my friends know me as, um, and uh, and I'm my pronouns are she, her. What are yours? And then go around the class, go around the room, and and introduce them, um, and just do it early on. If you don't know, ask, um, and also I think err on the side of caution. I always use they because it is a gender neutral space, and it's it's something that you know if I'm don't know their pronouns, you can sort of default to they, and um, you're sort of respecting the fact that you haven't asked yet or you don't know, but I love asking, I love when people ask me.